Hello, welcome everyone into my channel Saskiano with UMD. Understand how layers build compositions. Learn how layers are stacked, trimmed, and adjusted to build compositions. Layers or elements used to make compositions. And they give you the flexibility to control the appearance of a composition. Because each layer has its own set of parameters allowing you to position each one independently. In this composition we're going to make adjustments to our layers to fine-tune the appearance of this title animation. Let's start by going down to the timeline and clicking on the empty area here at the bottom. To make sure none of the layers are selected and with the timeline panels active, go then and press the spacebar to preview the animation. And you'll see as the current time indicator moves down the timeline here, you'll see more and more layers build into the scene. I will press the spacebar to stop playback. I pointed this out. Because I want you to know that the right side of the timeline is dedicated to controlling when layers appear over time. Now and looking at those total intimations. This pink star is really dominant. And I'd like to blend it back into the background. So, when you want to make adjustments to layers you have to look at their options. I'm gonna go to layer 3. And select it. And to see the options for that layer. I will open up those options with a triangle on the left side. And since this is a shape layer it has contents. But also, has transform options every visible layer. In an After Effects composition will have transform options. Now notice down here at the opacity the I have a blue stopwatch. And I have these little diamonds here. These are keyframes that create animation. Which means this layer is feeding in over time. And if I click and drag on this layer. Notice the keyframes are tied to the individual layer. Now I will press Ctrl Z or Command Z to undo that last slide there. Because I want to blend this layer back into the background without using the opacity setting. In the middle area of the timeline. These are called switches. And at the bottom, there's a button where I can toggle between switches. And modes. Modes are blend modes. It's if you use Photoshop, you're probably familiar with them. Let's click on the normal drop down for layer 3. And blend this back. I'd like it to be darker with everything else. I'm going to go to the darken section. It'll choose multiply. And now this is blending into the background making the star purple which I think is great. Now I'll collapse stock options for layer 3. And see what else we can do to kind of fine tune this animation. As I'm looking here the word starlight. It pops off the background but not quite as much as I would like. So, I will go down on layer 6. This layer here is a solid, it's called a solid layer. Now if I open up its options. It only has transformed options. Now if you look on the west side of the timeline. Notice the eyeball is off here. So, if I turn it on. Now I can actually see that layer. So, if I hover over any of these parameters. I can scrub on them by clicking and dragging. So here I could scrub the opacity down. And honestly, that's not very exciting. So, what I'll do is I'll make sure the opacity set up at 100. And I'll use a blend mode for this as well. I will change it from normal to soft light. And now if I toggle that layer off. And on. You can see the scene is much more interesting. Now on the right side of the timeline, you'll notice that this layer is over top of every single frame. And I don't want it to actually start into the scene. Until graphics start to appear. So, what I'll do is I'll select layer 4, where the white line starts to appear. And I will press I to move the current time indicator to that endpoint. Now if I click on layer 6, and drag I can slide that layer. But that doesn't change the duration of the layer. What I want to do is trim the start point of that layer. So, I will undo that last little slide there. And I could either drag right over the left hand side of the layer. Or I could use a keyboard command. So, on Windows, it's all left bracket. On the Mac, it's option left bracket. And that will move the endpoint of that layer to your current time indicator. So now when I screw up you can see that later actually darkens. Right as the star comes into the scene. I like this much better. Now let's collapse layer 6. And take a look at our layers. And notice layer 1 isn't labeled. So, I don't know exactly what that layer is. 
So, what I'll do is I'll scrub my current time indicator until I can see those elements appear. And I think it's these repeating lines. To make sure I will toggle the visibility off. And on. And it is. So, with layer 1 selected. To rename it. All you have to do is press enter. Or return. And I'll call this repeating. Lines. Press enter. Return. To set it. So now you can fine tune the appearance of your compositions using layers. Finally do not forget to like, comment, share, hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell button.